Cheers for the trip. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Jason. And six months ago, we kicked in our jobs overseas, turned home, and embarked on a six month hunting trip limb for the country. We started our trip down on Stewart Island to hunt the elusive whitetail. It was then into fuel and to chase the wapiti, before heading north to hunt the roaring reds. It was then up the west coast where we targeted Tar and Shami, before heading north to get the end of the rut for the seeker and the Kaimanawas and Kawikas. We then headed into Wanganui, where we rafted down the Wanganui River and also got amongst a few fellow. Finally, we headed to the Ruahinis and Uruweras to chase the reds. This DVD documents our trip and it also highlights the incredible resource the average New Zealand foot hunter has on offer. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the DVD. Jono, here we are, finally arrived in Stuart Island. What a way to kick off the trip. Yeah, we arrived here after about a three hour boat ride, which some of us didn't handle too well, over the six meter swells. Um, arrived here, this group of six of us, just friends and family, joined us for the trip. And uh, it's what, been here for three days now. A couple of deer in the meat safe already. Caught a few fish yesterday, and also some tawa. So it's, yeah, awesome start. Seven more days and then You're back one. to the mainland. Well, day three um, on Stewart Island, I've just managed to shoot my first whitetail. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty wrapped. Came to a bit of an opening um, down by this little creek here, and this guy was on the other side looking at me, so... A shot through the shoulder, and here he is. There's the big famous tail. And it's also my first deer with this uh, Weatherby Vanguard uh, 300 Winchester short magnum, so blooded the rifle as well. So a good day. Back to the hut now, I think, for a bit of a spare in the afternoon, and hopefully get some fresh fish to go off the deer for night tonight. Awesome. Well, unluckily, I forgot to um, pack my uh, weight belt when we left Bluff. But I've managed to find this old piece of uh, railway iron which seems to be um, doing the trick so there's a few big moki and a uh, blue cod out there so I'm gonna head out for a bit of a morning spare and um, see if we can get a bit of a uh, bit of fish for lunch.
Um, it's been out and managed to get a couple good sized fish, so. Clearly uh, the best one no but. <laughs> So what's going on here, Matt? Some uh, Stuart Island power at its best. We just went out for a dive this afternoon and managed to get about nine power, so. Enough for a uh, good feed for the boys. Bit of an entree for the old venison back steaks, I suppose. Yeah, indeed. Big boy, you saw the big white tail? Sweet, we'll see you back here about five or six. Yep, no worries, catch Don't you later. Wait. Good luck with the fish. Well, here, here I am on day eight of the 10 day trip to Stewart Island. Started off a bit slow, particularly for myself. I've had no real luck until the last couple of days. Today, especially, I've been hunting all morning and I've seen four animals, spooked a couple more, uh, shot at one, uh, missed it, and I was just starting to head for home, and I just thought I was getting a bit lost, and I was just about to get up my GPS and looked up, and just up here, I could see, um, if you look up <coughs> through this little gap up here, where is, I could see a, a yearling looking through that little gap just there down at me, and um, so I put one to its neck, and front shoulder somewhere and it's come running down through here and it's fallen over just in there so absolutely stoked it's my um oh no it's a fern there it is there absolutely stoked my first white tail and yeah it takes the pressure off <laughs> go and have a look Yeah, so it's not a huge animal, but it's a yearling, probably a good animal to be taking this time of the year. Yeah, stoked. Yeah. Nice easy one or? Yeah it was, it was easy in the end. I've seen five, spooked two, shot a stag, so I was happy to give us a... First white tail? Yeah. Good on you.